What's going on everybody, it's your favorite introvert here, and you may be wondering why I have the X5S next to an Adorama box shipped from Amazon. Well, if you read the title, then you already know, this is the Venus Laua, Laua, Laui, whatever you want to call it, this is the 7.5 millimeter F2.0. That is what we're going to be unboxing today. Let's get into it. So I went ahead and closed up the box because I do not want that falling over by the amount of shaking, as you can probably tell, on the screen. So, a little bit about my choice. This was purchased off Amazon through Adorama's store. The link is in the description below. Basically, Venus Laua, um, Laua, I don't know, whatever. Don't care, I'm over it. Went to their store and they had a kit that they put together for me. Okay, I don't wanna sound special. They didn't put it together just for me. They put it together for all of us here that are interested in purchasing this awesome, awesome lens. Sea Dreamer 7.5 millimeter. This is going to be good stuff. So let's go over the contents of the box first and what we get for $519. You never know when you need this stuff until you actually need it. And here is a cleaning kit for the optics. It contains a lens cleaning wipes, lens cleaning spray, micro fine lens cloth, fine brush, air blower, and carry pouch. So you can have this pouch, you can throw it in your Inspire 2 case or your Inspire case, whichever the case may be. Get it, see what I did there? I like it, I like it. Next, you have your lens carry bag. This is what you're gonna put the lens in and it's gonna carry it. Let's go ahead and open it up real quick and see what we have, what's it made of. It almost feels like it's almost a neoprene type, almost like a wetsuit, but it's not. Okay, you have your gel bags. Anyway, you have a plastic clip here that you can attach it to. You slide your lens down in the bag there and you can seal it up. It's on a pull string. Boom, not going anywhere. Next. You have a lens pin. Get right in there in the areas that are difficult to handle with your rag, and you can just brush the lint and dust away. Super handy there. You have a cap leash. You have your Pro Optic bag. Let's go ahead and open this up, see what's inside. Okay, so you can work on your lens here. Hey, that's that's a pretty big deal, guys. You can put your camera, mount it on this pad here. And you can keep it clean and off the elements as you're you know, on the job site or wherever the case may be. And here are your ND filters. Um, this is the essential kit. It's not going to carry much of what you need. So you have your UV or ultraviolet filter, your circular polarizer, and a ND2 filter. It's basically, this is gonna be for your lower light situations, guys. If you like the golden hours, this is definitely gonna help you out. So, my choice for purchasing this lens, it is the widest that you can go, 7.5 millimeters. So this is gonna give you an ultra wide angle lens. And also the benefit of this lens is you're gonna have minimal distortion. Uh, extra low dispersion glass, and it is a spherical and frog eye coating. So basically, it's going to keep a little bit of the fog off of it and uh, help you out additionally in the field. This is a complete manual lens, meaning that there's no contacts to be made with your X5S or X5 camera. And uh, we're going to be going over in great detail in another video all the information needed to help you make the decision on whether or not this camera system and this lens is gonna be proper for your situation. Let me take this lens off. I'm gonna show you the pins. You see these pins here. This Venus 7.5 millimeter is not gonna have these pins, meaning it's not gonna be able to talk to your camera. And this has been causing some issues with some photographers and Micro Four Thirds users. Only with the X5S and the X series lenses. If you need to use me as a guinea pig to see everything about this lens that you may consider for purchasing, please follow along for the ride because I will be going in great detail and in great depths of testing this lens, trying to get the best and the most out of it 
so that we all can uh, grow in this experience and maybe you know start providing some of our real estate friends some awesome shots because other than this 7.5 millimeter you have the 12 millimeter that I'm aware of 12 millimeter from from Olympus the Olympus Zyke Zyko I believe and I believe the 12 millimeter is the widest that I've seen I'm not sure of many other uh, focal distance focal lengths um, that go anywhere close to seven and a half so that is interesting in another bit there are two lenses of this type there is the lightweight model and then there is a standard model the difference in the lightweight and the standard I believe is about 10 grams roughly with this lens being 163 grams again guys this is fully manual from 2.0 to f22 which these are super close 16 and 22 but I believe what I've been reading up on the uh, the stops uh, your 5.6 is the sweet spot and then you're going to want to get your focus to infinity uh, there is incredible resistance so this isn't going to buff it out of focus and this isn't going to buff it out of your f-stop so that is good you have your lens hood here tucked away so I'm not going to lie, this is a beautiful, beautiful lens here. You have your Sea Dreamer 7.5 stampage all over it. If you have the 15mm MFT standard lens that comes with the X5S, then all of your ND filters and polarizers, uh, they are interchangeable with the lenses. So you can go ahead and continue to use the same. All right, there you go. No pins. Your camera will not be able to read this lens. And it may throw some errors and that's what we're going to be testing in future videos set your focus and your stops where you want prior to flight uh, let's go ahead and mount this up to the x5s and give it a go we're not going to turn on uh, the inspire 2 today that'll be in a future video basically i don't have time today guys it's my daughter's first birthday it's one of my daughter's first birthdays and uh, we are actually going to go celebrate that. And we're not going to make any videos today. So sorry to disappoint, guys, but family first, you know. All right, we're just going to throw this on real quick and have a look. There's the click. We're in place. We're in focus. Let's see where we sit. Not too shabby. Not too shabby on the balance. So without ND filters, without the lens hood, the balance looks pretty good. So it's not going to over torque your motors as it sits, at least in this configuration. It could be different with yours, but at least with mine, it's not rolling or pitching awkwardly seems to be handling it just fine well it does have the cap on it so I guess we can uh, interpret that as being an indie filter in flight using the cap so all right I hope you guys like this video if you have any extra questions or if you want me to answer questions in future videos leave them in the comments below uh, I'll definitely take everything into consideration and I will try to be as upfront and honest with you guys on this lens as possible as I am also not confident in it but i am curious to see you know the performance of this lens i've heard and seen good video and pictures from it with minimal distortion easily correctable in post but uh, i'm just curious as to the error codes that may be thrown uh, once we start the inspire 2 so hit that like button subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate y'all support and that's going to wrap it up for this video thanks for watching I tell you the one thing that would have benefited on this case here is if this were a magnet and not a snap 
because if you can see, as I push in, uh, it's definitely going to cause stress on the contents of this container. And uh, as you can see, you know, it gets pushed in there in the center. And you definitely don't want to cause any stress on your indie filters or your polarizers. So I do believe that a magnet would have been a better choice here. But that's basically my only grievance with that container. Here you have your circular polarizer, your CPL. Here you have your ND2 filter, and right here you have your A, uh, you have your UV filter. And again, these are all your 46 millimeter mounts, so they are interchangeable with the stock 15 millimeter MFT lens as well as the new 7.5 millimeter lens that we just purchased for our X5S camera system. Here we have the lens cap leash. Um, not going to use it. I don't want that hanging off my aircraft. Uh, 